Stuffy Dummer was a hobo. He rode the rails for many a mile. Stuffy Dummer was a hobo who had to change his hobo style. When he inherited ten million dollars, he had to look the part. He bought a townhouse, filled it full of servants, and that was only the start. Stuffy Dummer needed culture, and that is why he hired me. Bradley Brinkley, to give him polish, to make him everything a perfect gentleman should be. Amalgamated Mexican jumping beans going up. International trousers and pants split. Acme transparent shower baths. Now that's worth looking into. Mr. Derma, thought you'd sneak out on me, eh? Well, Mr. Derma, Mr. Derma, Mr. Derma. Poor Mr. Brinkley is always so tied up in stocks. Hi, Stu. Hi, Annie. Hello, Stuffy. Hello. Something wrong? N no. <laughs> Ask can Annie said because she hasn't been invited to your home since you become a millionaire. Oh, don't you think I'm lady enough? I'll try to find a way to sneak you in past Mr. Brinkley. Good old Stuffy. Oh, there you are, Mr. Derma. We're throwing a party in honor of the Maharaja of Ringading. We must think of a distinctive way in which to entertain the Maharaja and the Maharani. We've played pin the tail on the tax collector and ring Olivio with real rings, and we've ducked for emeralds. Now we've got to think of something novel. Ah, a hobo costume party, a hobo hootenanny. Everyone in masks and dressed up like hobos. I do hope the Maharaja likes the party. I know Ash can and he will. There we are, Mr. Brinkley. The finest hobo ensemble you could want. Imported Scottish rags and made rips. Pockets with Italian hobo cut. Said I never saw it. anyone looks more like a broken down shiftless obo than you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I think you should remove your turban, O oh Prince of the East. You think so? I do, O oh Prince of the Desert. Okay, so Prince Charming, I'm not. Now remember your manners, Eddie. Don't worry, Sue. Hi, Steph. You old bindle stick. Not so loud, Brinkley probably here. Just mingle with the guests. Naturally. You think I went and got all dolled up for nothing? Hi there, pal. See you later. Likewise. <laughs> 99, 100, 101, 102, what? 102? Mr. Brinkley, sir. Two uninvited guests. So, Mr. Derma thought he'd sneak a couple of his cronies in. I'd better find them before the Maharaja finds out. I guess I should mingle with the guests. So, those are his pals. But... He is the Maharaja of Ringading, son of the seven moons, king of the celestial star. If I told you once, I have told you one thousand times, nobody likes a name dropper. The Maharaja and Maharani, how absurd. They were obviously Stu Mulligan and Ash Kanani. Yes? Did you call us? Stu Mulligan? Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Brinkley. And ask Can Annie. Delighted. What a charming hobo party, complete with a bomb's rush. You can say that again. The Maharaja. 
Maha, old boy, you want to see a real hobo party? You and the missus come on down to my shack. Your highnesses, how can I ever apologize? Is there anything I can possibly do to make this up? Don't be silly, Brinkley. Isn't this fun, oh protector of the golden scimitar, or oh, defender of the sacred ruby? Hey, wait for me. Mr. Dermot? <laughs>